My first option would be the RX 6700 XT. It's at a good price at $330 USD. It has 12 gigabytes of VRAM and is powerful enough to max every game at 1440p. It can run the games at decent FPS and I would recommend this if you want to try 1440p or if your budget's around $300. My next choice for going up in price for around $400 would be the RX 6800 or the RX 7700 XT. They're basically perform about the same, just the RX 6800 has more VRAM. But the RX 7700 XT has AV1 coding. So if you're streaming, I would recommend the RX 7700 XT. But if you're just using it for pure gaming, I would recommend the RX 6800. Next, if your budget's around $500, I would recommend the RX 7800 XT. Tied with one of the best priced performance for this generation. It has 16 gigabytes of VRAM for $500. It's pretty fast. It can definitely max out any game at 1440p. You could also ray trace with this graphics card in some medium titles. I would not recommend heavy ones like Cyberpunk, but you can try a bit. It also is this great for productivity work and for streaming. Lastly, if your budget's $550 to $600, I'd recommend the RTX 4070 Super or the RX 7900 GRE. If you want to save $50, I'd recommend the 7900 GRE. If you just care about price to performance and fast rasterization performance. But if you care about Nvidia's feature set and you're fine with 12 gigabytes of VRAM, and in the future, you may have to lower down graphics settings. Lastly, if you want 240 Hz, 1440p, any GPU higher than the 7900 GRE and the RTX 4070 Super should be fine. I just, the only GPU you shouldn't buy above that is the RTX 4070 Ti.